my channel and if you're new what up so you guys today i am going to be talking about the five best vanillas that i have in my collection currently these are kind of on the newer side so it's kind of going to be like the best new vanillas that i have in my collection because for whatever reason i've just been on a vanilla kick lately um it has to be the cold weather it has to be the fact that we are going into heavy fall winter season so i'm just really in my vanilla bag right now okay and i actually have been getting some great vanilla items so if you guys want to know what the top best vanillas in my collection are then just keep on watching so shout out to my girlies who are definitely on my tiktok because if you are on my tiktok then you saw this video already i mean you saw like a short snippet of it this is going to be kind of more in depth but you guys still got to see it first so thank you so much to everyone who follows me on tiktok if you're not following me on tiktok already i don't know what you're doing because i definitely be posting some fire over there okay definitely go and check out my tiktok if you haven't already um let's get into it so i literally just filmed my full review on this perfume this is a vanilla potion I found this at tj maxx super super inexpensive perfume you can find this perfume from anywhere from 12.99 to like maybe 16.99 this perfume is so cheap but it is so good we don't even never really talk about the packaging like the packaging is a one this is a super nice perfume bottle i don't care what anyone says i love the top on it i love this actual little sticker on the front i love the shape of the bottle it feels very heavy weighted like this is like hard glass like it feels really really nice i like the actual bottle of this perfume so the fact that i paid like 15 dollars for this perfume is crazy but then the scent itself we don't even really have to talk about the scent itself like i said i went through a whole in-depth review of this perfume but also y'all know i had this perfume for two weeks and it looked like this okay i had this perfume for two weeks and it's pretty much empty i have like 15 mils left of this perfume which should say a lot this is like a record for the fastest 100 ml bottle of perfume I've gone through ever in life. This is a record. Nothing has beat this yet, okay? That is insane. That is absolutely crazy that I ran through this perfume like that. But it is definitely one of the best vanillas in my collection, one of the newer best vanillas in my collection because I can layer this with so many things because it's like a sweet, airy, aromatic, sugary vanilla, okay? And a lot of times we wanna add a little bit of vanilla. We wanna add a little bit of sweetness to our scent combinations or to a fragrance that just needs a little something extra, a little oomph, a little va va voom, okay? We're always trying to add something to it. This is the perfect perfume to do that with. I really, really, really enjoy this perfume and I am savoring, savoring this last little bit until I can find another bottle or another vanilla perfume comes along and just steals my heart and I forget all about this one, which I don't think I can, but yeah. I am legit, legit obsessed with this perfume, you guys. Definitely one of the best vanillas in my collection. Okay, um, another best new vanilla in my collection that I never knew I needed until I really like dove into using this and I was using it so much that I ran through it. That's my Kaomba May Vanilla Bean Oil. I had the roller ball and I ended up getting the bigger bottle and y'all can see I've got a little dent going in this little bottle of oil because I use this all the time. I love putting this on my clothes to kind of top off whatever scent combination I'm wearing for the day and it is like the perfect finishing touch it just like kind of melts into your fragrance bubble it kind of just like just intertwines itself within whatever fragrance bubble you're wearing and you just smell good this is the perfect pairing to any scent combination it doesn't matter if you're doing a fresh combination a floral a gourmand a fruity it does not matter this is the perfect complement to it and because they have so many different other oils like they have an egyptian musk they have an amber, like they have different ones. You don't just have to stick to straight up vanilla. You can go ahead and get a variety of these oils and put them on your skin, on your body, on your clothes, in your hair, and you'll just smell divine. Like these perfume oils are the truth. So I'm obsessed with this one. Definitely one of the best new vanillas that I have in my collection. Um, This lotion, this lotion that I'm wearing today, y'all, 
This is Sugar Cookie Sweet Heaven. This literally smells like fall and winter in a bottle. It's very vanillic. It's very cookie-esque. It layers so well with other things. I'm wearing this today with Vanilla Bean Noel and my perfume. Y'all, it smells so good. It has like the tiniest hint of spice, but it's not spicy. This is not a spicy scent at all. This just smells so good. It smells like a sugar cookie. It's just so good and I love it. And it's definitely moisturizing. It absorbs into the skin really, really well. So this is perfect to use immediately after the shower. And if you still wanna go in with your fragrance lotion on top, you can because this is not gonna leave a super greasy residue on your skin. It's not gonna feel too heavy on your skin where you're not gonna wanna put another lotion on top of it. Perfect, perfect layering fragrance. Perfect, perfect layering product. Like this is really, really good. Definitely worth the splurge. But if you can get it for cheaper than the actual $25 price tag, I would highly recommend it. I did find it at JCPenney's for, um, it was like $16.99 or $17.99. It was a lot cheaper than what it was at Ulta. So if you can definitely find that somewhere and it's cheaper, highly, highly recommend it. Okay, um, and then I ended up getting this perfume for Amazon Prime Days. This is the Comptour Sue Pacific Vanilla Extreme Eau de Toilette perfume. And y'all, when I put this on my skin, I was like, eh, okay, it ain't nothing special. It's a little artificial, a little synthetic. It ain't that great. It ain't, it ain't that good. Whew, yeah, okay. When this started to dry down on my skin and I was just moving around, going about my day, I was getting wafts of like vanilla birthday cake frosting and I was just like, what the heck is that? Like, I know that ain't me. I just know I'm not out here smelling like frosting. Y'all, it was this perfume. It is absolutely insane how good this perfume smells. I looked at all the reviews. Some people get like a chemically artificial um, synthetic Play-Doh scent. Um, some people just don't like this at all. You legitimately have to be a real full-on gourmand lover to enjoy this perfume. I don't think anybody who just barely likes gourmands or is like dipping their toes into gourmands or is like trying out gourmands would not recommend this as a blind buy for y'all. This is for the people who since the day they first smelled a vanilla perfume, vanilla body care, vanilla fragrance mist, they were like, that's my scent profile. That is my scent profile. I love smelling like food. I love smelling sweet. I love smelling edible. This is for those people. This, this is for me. Okay, this is for me. This smells like straight up creamy vanilla frosting. And if you guys look at the scent notes on this bad boy, like if y'all look at the breakdown, it's really vanilla and milk and heliotrope and cream. It's, it's, y'all, this is good. This perfume has like four fragrance notes of vanilla and then it has milk and then it has creaminess and then it has heliotrope. Like, please, please, okay? The heliotrope might be the reason why people are getting that Play-Doh scent, but I actually like uh, heliotrope in fragrances, so... That's probably why I like this perfume. Y'all, this is crazy. And unfortunately, this is only a little 30 ml, one ounce fragrance. Like I said, I got this during Amazon Prime Day. So it was on sale for 20 something dollars or 30 something dollars. I don't really remember, but I had to go and snatch it up, okay? All right, y'all. And the very last perfume fragrance product that I wanna talk about to wrap up this top best vanillas in my collection is Burberry Goddess. And this is one of the newest perfumes one of the newest vanilla perfumes to my collection. And it's really, really pretty. I did like this perfume when I first smelled it. But again, I just was like, you know, it's nothing that I need to run out and get right now. This is like a walk to the store, not a run to the store, not a sprint to the store. It, it wasn't like that for me. It wasn't wowing enough. So I was like, you know, I'll pick it up casually, leisurely later on. But do I need to rush out and get it right now just because it's the hype and it's a brand new fragrance? Absolutely not. But I ended up getting this as a gift and I was grateful and thankful for it. The person was just like, get what you want. And I got this. So I was thankful and grateful for it. And I really do like it. I absolutely love the bottle. The bottle screams like me. Classy, elegant, pretty, luxury. Like that's what the bottle gives me. Even this little small one ounce bottle. That's what it gives me. And it's just super pretty. And the scent is definitely a lavender, gingery, 
freshy vanilla i do get a little bit of sweetness like a little bit of a cocoa -y vanilla when it dries down but it's mainly like that freshy uh gingery type of vanilla that i get from like alien goddess monger lawn that's the scent profile that it gives me not saying that those are dupes but that's just the scent profile that it gives me in my opinion but i do really like this can see myself definitely wearing it i'm gonna try it out a little bit more this winter and then i will wear it in the spring to see how it does if it does better in like winter super super cold weather or like spring slightly warm weather we'll see how this one does but do really enjoy that one definitely a better vanilla in my collection currently so that is it you guys for right now those are the best vanillas in my collection currently right now that i have been trying out that are newer so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it as well as if you have any of these products if you've tried any of these products if you love any of these products just as much as i do leave it down in the comment section below if you're new, you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join the Ferguson Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.